Got to address this fat fuck nigga, Dr. Umoist Johnson. I'm too busy to follow you. People say, Doc, watch this two minute clip from now. Hey, I just saw um, uh, um, the live stream. Level one. I'm gonna wait for your response and I'm gonna King Kong you the next time. Nigga, Umoist, your name is in my fucking mouth. Don't mention your name with me, dog. We not on the same level. Fam. You know, this nigga's doing all that sniffing and blinking if you put my name in your mouth. You exploiting people's thirst for knowledge, but that ain't none of my business. What you speaking on me for? You should say, I'm, I'm gonna get physical. Hello? Imaginary goons? Clown ass nigga. I get the plug, hit my niggas up, pop a pistol case. God Kill Life Production, the pop is real.com. We back at it again on one of the most historical sites, you know. Brother Smalls has put me on, man. I was talking to one of the brothers I seen here earlier, telling me WD Du Bois. You know, um, some some real big people have been out here before, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Thurgood Marshall. Thurgood Marshall, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Madam C.J. Walker. Yes. Like, um, you know, we're sitting in, in a place where there's some history. Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. Lena Horn. You yeah. know, like, so, um, just the essence of that, you know what I'm saying, being here today, you know, um, there's a couple topics, of course, I wanted to talk about. Mm -hmm. uh, just, you know, how does it feel being, you know, in a building where you, some of these ancestors have passed? Do you still feel the energy? Do you still feel that, you know? It's, yeah, I, I, I do, I do, especially uh, different seasons, you, you, because the dynamics, the structure has been here, so you, you can imagine the kind of conversations that took place, the meetings, uh, one of our, our Kennedy speechwriters lived right here on the first floor, so it was just, it was from, President yeah, 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 wow. President Kennedy's, yeah, so uh, it, it was, I can imagine, and then my one or two residents that grew up here, one is on my floor, she, she's in her early 70s. She was, I think, four when her family moved here. So she has a, a in-depth detail of how those decades unfolded in this Sugar Hill area. So it's, yeah, it, it, it's a beautiful thing to hear those who knew of a different time and a different era. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, I think it's powerful. Real, oh man, you know, when, when you hear you, that means the ancestors are still here, still listening, yes. still watching. Yes, yes. And uh, we live in a new age now, man, you know, because um, I'm sure when you look at it, you know, you see the development, mm -hmm. just, you know, from the 90s to the 80s to the 70s, and every decade, things are changing and rapidly moving, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? We're in we're the age of technology, robots, mm -hmm. and transhumanism. Um, you know, speaking of all that, I wanted to just bring it back to right now we're in a situation where black people are still not getting along sometimes. We're still mm -hmm. fighting amongst each other mm -hmm. now more than ever on social media, mm -hmm. on the internet, and mm -hmm. things like that. One mm -hmm. of the biggest things, the topic we got to talk on is uh, the things happening with Dr. Umar Johnson. Mm -hmm. Me mm -hmm. being a student and just, you know, uh, you know, want to learn and when I was introduced to Dr. Umar Johnson, you know, it was all about you know helping the children, learning about psychology. Exactly. And for me, what, what was so interesting with Dr. Umar was, I wanted to say uh, when I raise my kids, I want to make sure I don't have to give them vaccinations or certain things that they're not supposed to get. And he was one of the only people that really kind of like was certified to kind of speak on some of these things. Mm -hmm. And I've been to some of his lectures and some of his speaking engagements where. I was wild. I learned a lot of things mm -hmm. and learned but that we do have power. We don't have to just say yes to the school system and things like that. Mm -hmm. Recently, of course, everybody's seeing he's being stripped of some of his degrees and things like that. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I find very, you know, hard to like see is because, you know, he's saying that, you know, black his own people take plotted to take him down. Mm -hmm. It's like how how did how did he get to this point, you know, without having these degrees and things like that, mm -hmm. to the point where people are attacking him? And we even have real credible brothers who, you know, Tariq Nasheed, mm -hmm. who's done certain things mm -hmm. in, in, for, for the culture as well, going at him. And these guys are going back and forth. Mm -hmm.
You know what I'm saying? Um, people saying that Dr. Umar doesn't have these things. Or, mm-hmm. What's your thoughts on all of this, man? Because, you know, the infighting, everything, and just mm-hmm. knowing yourself, you're, mm-hmm. uh, you've done interviews with Dr. Umar Johnson yourself. Yes, yes. You know, I think, um, yeah. it's, it's interesting. I, I've, you know, interviewed Dr. Umar Johnson. I've interviewed, you know, through my work with Brother Sanetta, uh, Brother Tariq Nasheed. Uh, I also have interviewed, again, through work with Sonetta, uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins. So I've had an opportunity to have, you know, an interview is an interview structure, but, you, you know, you get to connect. You, you, you're going back and forth. You do pick up people's energy and you, you pick up their flow. I, I have nothing to say about negative about any of those brothers' energies. This is such a hard thing to, to, to go through, man. It's, uh, ugh, it, it, this is so painful. These are all brilliant brothers, man. They're all accomplished. I mean, you can cast whatever you want on any one of them if you want to spend time doing that, but no one can uh, doubt the business exploits of of, uh, Tariq Nasheed. You know, we can't doubt the brilliance and the marketing and the the gusto of a Dr. Umar Johnson. You know, you can't doubt the brilliance of a Dr. Boyce Watkins. You know, all of these are our brilliant men. These are these are the answers to our prayers. We want businessmen and, and leaders like this, mm-hmm. and, and they're and they're now set set upon each other and in such a public way. These brothers are venting some of their anger, their suspicion, their doubt. Their it, it's just it's just it's just a painful dysfunction for us to all 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 have to observe. You, you know, the only saving grace is that theirs may be public, but if, if all of us, if we, if we be honest with our human situations around us, you know, we have this going on in our families or in some of our relationships, but it's just so hurtful that these men are so known and this is so public. Mm-hmm. But this is, this is just a pain that shows itself in different ways in, 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 in view of many of the relationships a lot of us have. Because as black people collectively, we're still working through a lot. But brother, knowledge to God, this this hurts to watch. You know, anybody who loves black people, who loves black brilliance, you know, they, they, they're feeling very disturbed by the kind of climate, the, the, the negative kind of cutting, kind of the language. And it's just that hate. And, and I had um, brother, um, on my good brother Sarnetta's platform, I was speaking about that. We got an extra level of stuff as black people that we have for each other that that exceeds. You know, we don't even have that apparently for our oppressor mm-hmm. to the degree that we'll go all out to go nuclear war emotionally on each other at, at almost the slightest provocation. Why do you think that is, you know what I'm saying? Is it like the white man's too big of an enemy so it's easy to attack once uh, You know, I tell you, greater minds than I have have looked at that. I, Dr. Amos Wilson, oh, he's so, so brilliantly clear and truthful, even with with hurtful information. He, he did it in a way that you, you could digest it and go forward. Because some of the information of what got us to be what we are right now, to many degree, you know, that, that wasn't a pretty a pretty process. So so there was, a, you know, this structural uh, situation set up to break men, to break males. The black male could never be assertive and strong. Uh, and that was an intricate part of of the system and the structure that we that we live in, but you know, uh, Amos Wilson said, I believe the term is displacement. You know, when you can't go against your real enemy, you displace the anger you should have for your opponent somewhere else, mm-hmm. and that usually is somewhere else that is less less formidable. Mm-hmm. Somewhere else, if it's a man, he's he can't yell at the boss. He comes home, he yells at his wife. Mm-hmm. We might yell at the children. You know, you kick the pet. You know, you can't do battle with that boss that makes you feel less than. Mm-hmm. So you go and make someone else feel less than. Mm-hmm. And too often we have that domino effect on different layers that's going through our community. So, so is it a good trait? No. It's a, in us, it's almost a level of cowardice. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't go at your enemy like that. And I spoke about before. Look at our homicide rates. Look at how quickly we go to, you know, DEFCON 4 on each other. Mm-hmm. You know, what did the brother do? He looked at you wrong. You felt disrespected. So you have to now. Now he has to die because your ego was so fragile. You know, it's just you know something. I what? do the battle rap thing as well, mm-hmm. of course. And recently, they're calling for restoring order in battle rap mm-hmm. because it's getting out of control. Interesting. And even some of the bloggers who 
talk about that artist. Uh -huh. They've been talking personally about their lives and things like that. And there was a situation where one of the bloggers, his personal situation got out, and one of the uh, artists made fun of it, and he took it and went at it after the person's family, talking mm -hmm. about his kids and wife and things like that. And it shows, like, kind of what you're saying. Right, you, know, right. you know what? Since I can't attack whoever exposed whatever situation right, I had, right. I'm going to attack whoever's making fun of it. Mm. And then I'm going to say the worst. Disgusting. Right. I told you, he even spoke about someone's uh, sister who passed away. You know what I'm saying? Took it to that level because of whatever pain he was going through because right, of right. something that happened to him. Yeah. And people making yeah, fun of him. But yeah. He's known for exposing people and mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. people have no love for him. And, right, right. But at right. the same time, mm -hmm. it just, took, and these are all black brothers, everybody mm -hmm, mm -hmm, making up their own, you know, content. And right, you know, right. And I just had to bring that because that. Yeah, that's um, yeah, because it's it's it maybe it's it's the social media dynamic of it, but because playing the dozens, which is I hope not to be disrespectful to this wonderful battle rap art, but it's an, a high level of playing the dozens. Mm -hmm. You know, people busting on each other. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, so of this goes way way back. Uh -huh. But the outcomes now, now that we're we're you know the level of the death of a loved one, mm -hmm. you know, in many instances, those wounds never heal. Mm -hmm. Now, so is that going to be a brunt of a joke or the brunt of a bar? And you're going, you're going to degrade nah, them? It's like, it's like if you talk about me, my family, yeah, I'm not gonna look at it. Yeah. You become like a real enemy. Right, and I not just talk, different. say in a way to ridicule, yeah, man. Yeah. It's making little of something that's precious to you. Exactly. You no, know, no man is gonna after a while, okay, this ain't this ain't no, this is something else. This ain't now. entertainment. Yeah, this yeah, ain't yeah, yeah. You're you're being know? truly not just offensive to me, to my culture in some instances. Mm -hmm. So it's so I'm glad you're you're such a major player in that field because as beautiful and organic as it is, you know, they need some codes up in there as well. Fact. So so they can, you know, regulate. Because well, every, yeah, everything yeah. don't go. Uh -huh. You know, everything ain't open. We, it's not that kind of party. Nope. So I'm glad. Now, who who is guiding that to make sure there's some clear instructions well, are given? Well, recently I did an interview with one of the older guys who was in the country. Mm -hmm. He'd been in the game for 10, 15 mm -hmm. years and mm -hmm. things like that. Older dude named Slave Seven. And we did an interview called Restoring the Order. Mm -hmm. And saying, you guys shouldn't be touching each other. People right, right, about right. Her. Just, just re kind of like, okay, battle rap is an aggressive mm -hmm. sport. Mm. When we sign a contract, it's for me to, and you to do it. It's like right. boxes in the ring. Right, right. But after that, we shake each other's hands. Ex we yes. wish you well. I hope you don't die. I hope yes. Because, you know, this is a dangerous sport. Sometimes right, right, it gets right. vicious. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, we're able to come together mm -hmm. and, you know, take our problems out on the field. Mm -hmm. And then when we get off the mm -hmm. field, mm -hmm. everybody's good. But yes. now we're getting to the point where. It's getting out of control. Mm, things are mm. little, you know, there's low blows being thrown, elbows right, right, being thrown, right, things right. penalties. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I've oh. spoke to somebody, and my job, knowing that I'm in a position I'm in, is just mm -hmm. to talk to people who could bring, mm -hmm. give you the right information, give you things, you know, a good code of conduct. Right, you right, know what I'm right. So right. going back to the situation with uh, Brother Umar Johnson, one of the main things is about his credentials. Mm -hmm. is, he, is he certified to do what he mm -hmm, does? Mm -hmm. As he been doing this for ten years or plus, right, so right. many years, mm -hmm. to the point now, you know, from his mouth, our own people breaking him down, right. like, switching to the white man, right. like how does that even happen? Yes, uh, this is, you know, it, you know, so much has evolved in such a short period of time from the, the initial upload uh, uh, Dr. Umar put up related to explaining the situation. And, and, and yeah, how, how could this have gone on? But you know what has been interesting? The people that have been writing, some folks in his profession or familiar with the process. So I have learned. A, a, a bit more and, and it's it's a bit more specific I had originally felt it was so broad that they were going to be taking different degrees so you know I'm now learning it's a matter of if you assert a license and I hope I'm, I'm even restating this correctly or all it is is kind of like a show and prove if you if you have it show it if you don't have it then there's a fine a fix because that is supposed to be out of bounds when you assert that you have this credential and you do not you yeah. so so I mean which sounds cut cut and dry in, in, in and again, I don't have any inside information. That's how I've been interpreting it. And, uh, and few people have verified that without a horse in the race. These are folks that yep, X, Y, Z, and not even try to be on anybody's side. Yeah. So, I mean, that was one issue. And I think that was pretty much resolved.
Bob, however the eighth goes, this brother's going to be our champion. Whatever they give him, take him. They can take him all, get ten more. He's already uh, shown himself as that. I just said right now in the climate, we're so distracted right now. Yeah. We're so distracted yeah. by our, our egos like, and our personal stuff. about a doctor Omar Johnson certified about? Like, well, like, that's it, but it's so much layers. No, no, it's, but it's, I'm just saying, though, like, that's the distraction to me. Like, if he's been doing it for this year, it's like you've been yeah. working out for years. Mm -hmm. Somebody's saying, Umar's, I mean, uh, Herbert Smalls, he don't really work out. He's not really about it. And you like, oh, like, the, but that's how I'm looking at it from the outside. Mm -hmm. looking right, in. Right, right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. So, that's why I said, is that the distraction? The fact that we're just focused on him. Something mm -hmm. that people, that I'm sure from him saying that I've proved just many times that you I'm You know, it could be. See, oh my goodness. So, so for us to even be talking about that, you know what I'm saying? Because that seems like the root of the problem. Mm -hmm. This is what's creating him to have to go to court, having to go down, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, the, the, it should be clear, like, yo. Yeah. He got what he needs. Like, that should be an easy, right, destroyed right. argument. I really think that that is i can't see anyone well again this the eighth will and, 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 and you know I, how did i find out that this whole thing was going on i found this out by dr umar johnson mm -hmm. it wasn't no expose that he came on a lot guys that's what i'm faced with mm -hmm. a copy of the document so i mean i mean so that's transparent i wouldn't have known about it if it wasn't for that yeah. so 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 then you're, you're not you ain't catching him and look he's going he said it yeah. and he also said this is okay i knew this was coming yeah. and, and, and brothers and sisters if you're going to i think you know that was okay and we were coming along well, I thought. As a matter of fact, you know, with this upload we're doing, I, I was proud to bring Kia Light Production on board with another one of the platforms, like Sonetta has stepped up with his platform, uh, Brother Baba, uh, Every Time Fire stepped up with his platform, and I'm hearing buzzes that others are getting ready to put an upload related to, let's, you know, let's get behind this brother. Mm -hmm. If that manifests itself or not, I don't know, because, again, we're being distracted. It's the distractions mm -hmm. and, and how much of it is engineered and how much of it is kind of us getting at each other again just in a public way and he and, says and, it he says this is my people yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what yes I mean? These yes are all people coming after me and complain to them but i'm saying though like if the white man already don't like what you're doing can't he just <laughs> do that on himself anyway he needs the support of us to you know what i mean like <laughs> to, to tear us down which he usually does you know, you uh, need somebody to infiltrate, get in the black mm -hmm. man to act like he's cool with us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Next thing you know, he's an agent. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's uh. I'm just, uh, I'm so lost for words right now related to what the, from the last stuff almost, uh, I had a chance to listen to our good brother uh, from the advice show and he definitely brought a, a, a level of energy back because the energy is off the charts with, with you no know, going from Umar to, to brother Nasheed. It is, what I last heard, it's they just going at each other in such a, there's so much hate behind these brothers' uh, gestures and words and, and terms that they're using. You, you, you know, can, can we heal from this? Can those brothers ever, there's a beautiful picture, it's so ironic. Someone who's doing it already, because people are, you know, mass producing this thing and they're bringing it up again. Mm -hmm. There's a beautiful picture of brother Nasheed and Dr. Umar with an I embrace, yeah. you know, standing together, uh -huh. two of our brilliant brothers. In, in that moment, that's what we need. Those are the images that's going to get us where we need. Not this 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 brutal, uh, vicious fight that they're having. It's like an ugly family fight at like a cookout. Mm -hmm. You know, you're at the but family the reunion see, and your family go in on each other. Yeah, but it's for the world to see. It's on the jumbo screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I just. Uh, what do you think uh, about Tariq's, uh, you know, him coming in, Dr. Umar, and, you know, them working together and him? Kind of have no sentiments towards him. Having no sentiments? Having those. Oh, those? Yeah. Uh, it, it, yeah, again, it's like just... like a fraud and saying that he's exposed like... Yeah. Because these are the words that are being used, you know? Yeah, and see, now, and this is a kind of a thing that helps me get to the next place. Uh, I, don't get me wrong now. I listen to words that are being said, always. Mm -hmm. You don't ever ignore words, especially when words bring threats or words bring... Uh, so don't ignore words. But more important, or just as in many instances, is where is the emotion is coming from. Mm -hmm. 
because so I know these these brothers are in battle mode for whatever the reason, whoever's right. I'm not even fixing right, wrong, who started, who didn't start. I just know right now they acting like they want to eliminate each other. Mm -hmm. They want to demolish each other. So if either one is successful, we lose one and only have one. Mm -hmm. When before we had two great ones. Now guess what? Suppose they're both successful in destroying each other. Then we got none. Mm -hmm. Who benefits from that? Yeah, who benefits? We need both those brothers, irrespective of what you think about either one of them. And I'm leaving kind of Bo Boyce Watkins out because, you know, he was, you know, not a negative spin in, in the thing that's going on right now. We need all of these brothers. We need all hands on deck. So if, you know, I hope the community, we collectively said, brothers, please stand down. All of you, everybody, take a step back. Take a breath. Nothing else needs to go up for now. You know, let the people that love all of you, let us heal through this. This is a storm, man. It's the real, it's an ugly, brutal storm that, that we are all in. Because we love you all. You know, it's, it's I don't know, knowledge well, of God. Well, this is. Expose it. I feel like this is the era of, the, the era of trying to expose people, whether they're right, wrong, or whether they're different. It just seems like everyone wants to try to expose everyone. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, because, um, you, know. you know, a lot of, like for me, looking at it, it's like, yeah, the brother been doing the work. It's like, but now it's like, why are we so bent on trying to? Like, because some people have real feelings like thinking that it's all yeah, a, a yeah. scam and it's all, you know, you get the money for the school and all of these things. But it's like, you don't, from your experience, you know what I'm saying, brother? Mm -hmm. well, you've been around, you've seen leaders come, you've seen leaders mm -hmm. go, you've seen new guys come. Well, what's your true honest opinion on Dr. Omar Johnson? You know, uh, uh, do you feel like he's legit in everything that he's been doing? And, you know, from your own. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. From, my, from my perspective, yeah. he's definitely legit. And he's definitely not perfect. And I haven't met a perfect human being yet. Now, am I here to list his flaws or how many things that pull him away from perfection? Mm, I wouldn't hope nobody would be listing mine. Mm -hmm. So so the thing is, do I stand with him? Definitely. Um, is some of the criticisms extended to him uh, just? Of course. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, but what he brings to the table and what that that, that, that man's vision has been and how it has inspired is shed light in the areas that, that, that were very much dark and hey, hey. Uh, so with that said, I, you know, the, the, the great he brings so far outweighs what I find are, are minuscule challenges mm -hmm. that anyone looking honestly at their own lives, it may not be in the same place. We get tripped up because someone else's challenge or weaknesses in different areas than our own. Mm -hmm. But human weakness and frailty is universal. Mm -hmm. The thing is, if you know a brother or sister with a challenge, you will work with them through the challenge as you honor and, and help inspire them towards the greatness that's in them. Mm -hmm. And so that, if that was the climate, man, but it's right now, I, I just, if everybody could take a breath and stand down, take a nice full breath, it's, because it, it's, it's, it's stormy, man. It's really stormy in ways that it would just take us a while to recover from. And we're closing out 2017. Look where we are poised. Mm -hmm. We're stepping into another year. Mm -hmm. This thing's going to happen in 2018 that we need to be ready for. Mm -hmm. People are preparing, man. Folks are taking serious steps to make sure they are able to weather the storms that are coming. Whereas us as a people, we're too often being distracted from what our purpose, plans, and goals should be. You know, we don't know what this economy is getting ready to do. Mm -hmm. they, they're flipping this rip with this uh, uh, prison industrial system. It, it, it's getting real and it's getting raw. And not that it wasn't real or raw before, but there are levels. And, 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 and you get to a point where you're so far down in a game where winning is an impossibility. Mm -hmm. And if we don't get our team right and get on this field and be in position for what's coming, we're not going to recover easily. I'll never give up on my people, but we don't need to make the battles stronger and harder than they already are. There are enough challenges. Mm -hmm. You know what's interesting with you saying that? You know I'm a movie guy. I like to watch a lot of things happening mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I seen this movie last night recently on Netflix, Bushwick. And the story shows about it basically right now how the, story, uh, the country is overtaken mm -hmm. by these counter military guys and it's all underground and basically burning down uh, the city, burning down Brooklyn, burning down everything. And that's all from 
And then the, if you hear the narrative, it's, well, what do you guys expect? The politicians have been lying for years. They've been planning something. This is the narrative mm. of the story while the newscaster is explaining to the people why they're going through what they're going through. And no one knows what's really happening. Everyone's being fed with disinformation. All contacts are being... How does, how does, how does it open up? Is it, it present time? The, it, yeah, it's present time. The girl's walking to the train station with her boyfriend, and she realizes there's no one on the platform like that. And when she walks out, she sees a guy burning on fire walking through the subway. And the guy, her boyfriend, is his first time coming using a train. I said, is it always like this? She said, yeah, it's usually like this, but, you know, um, sometimes the trains get stuck. And then next thing you see is total warfare outside. She walks up the platform and bombs are going off right here in America. Whoa, that's insurgents kind of deep. And, Insurgents and guys in black suits are coming with guns, killing people and tying people up and taking people. And now you see people on the streets fighting and fending for themselves on a regular modern day right now basis. That's, uh, yo, I might have to check that out, man. And that's you're talking about like some of the things you just said. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Us being just so sleeping. Right. There's something that's brewing. Under yeah, here, even yeah. Even if it's a movie. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But the message being sent in the movie is very... Yeah, yeah. It's interesting, you know? Very, man. It's like, whoa. And again, if you ain't preparing for nothing, you know, you know again, this economy is look, it's been looking rickety for a while. So it's, it's, you know, where are we financially? Where are we straight up survival? You know, our, our, our brother Aton does survival walks. He's walked through people through, through the city. He's taught people how to survive in different environments. But for every one of him, other communities got 50 or 60, and they're going out, they're having classes, and a lot of them already part of militias, and they do camping, and they start training their children young how to hold, how to shoot, how to target. So it, it, it's folks that have natural skills that, for better or worse, if doodle ever hits the fan, those are some of the skills you're going to need to have. Mm -hmm. We ain't thinking about them. Mm -hmm. You know, we, you know, what's, what are the Knicks doing? Yo, I'm, are we going to make the team? How was the playoff? Mm -hmm. Who, you know? Who's who's baller? What's up with Kanye? You know, it's just so many distractions that keeps us spinning. Conscious beef, uh, you know, hip hop yeah, beef, and yeah, anything yeah. where it's a little bit of drama. Yeah, know? yeah, and 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 it's unfortunate that that drama. You know, we still have a drama chakra, man. Mm -hmm. It's like because the numbers on that stuff is is bananas. Yeah. People do even before when BET was still back in black hands. It's not today. But, was, you know, one of their most popular rated was those videos, mm -hmm. the half nude music oh, yeah. video. Right. And, and, and it was us producing that. And we the numbers were there. We was watching it. Yeah. So, you know, we have to d decide, well, how do we how do we rid ourselves of that appetite? Because that appetite is going to keep pulling and manufacturing or, or keeping our energies moving in ways that don't help us prepare for our, our self-defense. And also, once you defend, you don't just stay in a defensive mode. You want to advance and move your people forward. Mm -hmm. So we got to have things like that in place at um, some point. I mean, um, you know, when you go back to say distraction, and we go back looking at uh, some of these guys, like the big names, Tyreek Nasheed, mm -hmm. Dondo, Mark Johnson, mm -hmm. things like that going back and forth. How do you see, um, how do you see these guys to resolve it? Because, you know, they represent, you know, the people mm -hmm. and helping the people. How do they actually get past all of this, all this extra, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It seems like certain things may have been said. It's hard to really want to work with somebody after they yeah, break yeah, it down. Yeah, 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 exactly. Especially when it comes to your livelihood. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, I tell you that it's so interesting about this social media stuff. We almost had that kind of play out, you know. Uh, there was this recent, I, I don't know what it's called, a double upload with uh, Sonetta and Poppy. Now, oh, yeah. for anybody on social media know how that relationship uh -huh. was. It got so volatile. You set me up. You were this. You blah, blah, blah. And then these brothers sharing formats. Mm -hmm. When they put all that aside and say, hey, God, you know, let's help each other. But look at the full circle. You can go back to some of the darkest parts of their relationship where you would think these guys would have killed each other on sight. Yeah. But they evolved past that to now they're working back together. Is this possible? Now, I would dare say, see, the thing is, the egos are bigger, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, with our good Dr. Uma, with Tariq Nashi, you know, you don't get to that level without an ego, man. That's believing mm -hmm. in yourself. <laughs> That's gambling on in, on yourself mm -hmm. and knowing you're gonna come up right. Mm -hmm. So you gotta have so the egos are bigger, so with with big big egos, 
Oof, it's rough to get. Too. You got the, yeah, yeah. I'm on his side. I'm on his yeah, side. Yeah, right it's like here's oof. the videos to expose him, and here's whatever you know. it, like that. It gets like that. To the yeah, point. the real rare ones, the rare ones, the rare ones that uh that really are destined to, to elevate to levels higher. They find that balance, and they they can say, but it's it's rare because your ego, man. Then you get following. It's like the leader of a gang. You know, you got a thousand men behind you. You got to make sure you demonstrate your in a way that keeps their allegiance and their respect for you. So again, we're already dealing with male egos, you know, it's testosterone on overdrive. So who wants to be the first to, brother, if I hurt you, you know, let's, let's get past this. You know, who, who's the real bigger man that could do that first? Mm. Or, or has that bridge been so damaged? Because, again, really hurtful things are being said, man. It's, you know, you, know say, you, can, you can be angry at your brother. Your brother going to do stuff you don't like. Your brother going to mess up your brother. But you can't, you can't hate your brother. Mm. You, can, you can be your brother. I don't even want to see you for a while. You know what? I, I'll get back to you on it. Go deal with it. But you gotta find a way to get back to your brother. If not, we lost, man. We are all we got. We all we got. We need everybody. Let's 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 get past some of that, brothers, please. Um, uh, my cousin Kevin, uh, president of Oh I Made This. He owns his own clothing line. He got a question. How's it going, uh, Smalls, brother Smalls? I'm Kevin. You know, my question was: Is there somebody in the community that both Tariq Nasheed and Brother Uman Johnson respects someone that could come between the situation, or is there a, a council of people that they could have a meeting of minds? Because, um, you know, like you said, we all need each other. We all we all need hands on deck. Is there someone who could prevent this from going any further, or stopping it where it's at, or coming to some t type of conclusion? That is an excellent question. Yeah, I wouldn't even begin to think to speak for who both or either of them would respect. I wish there was a name. I, you know, I mean, you know, Minister Farrakhan is given a certain amount of respect, and maybe if this gets to his ears, I'm sure he's a, a brother that they both would receive his call and even he, his, 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 his guidance and instruction. Uh, maybe they both have one or two of in common. If brothers, if you out there and you know that you have that kind of relationship with one or both of them, this is your time to act because it's really at a place where we got to step back from this. You know, you know, we threatening each other's well-being. We calling each other, you know, it, no, 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 not, not, not our brothers that are our intellectuals, not our brothers that are, are that have opened so many minds. No, brother, we're not going to let, let you all go to that. So if there is a brother out there, an elder, excuse me, if there is an elder out there that knows both these young men or have a relationship with them and can come in, please, this is the time. And, and if I could say something else, boy, and this, I don't know how odd this might sound, and, uh, and I want to say this respectfully, you know, to, to I already respect as an elder because who he's already produced. Uh, and that's that's uh, brother Dr. Umar's father. Uh, he had put an upload up recently, and he said something that just so. When he said it, I was like, "What?" It was just it was a shocking to me. He said uh, he or well, he gave the impression that you know supporters of his son were coming at him, were making threats to him. Saying, you know, oh, I know you all are, you know, my son's supporters, but you come my way, you know, or why you want to attack an old man. And, and I wanted to just to say to that elder, please, elder, be mindful that there's so many games played with this social media. There are agent provocateurs that are sent down specifically to agitate and cause disruption. Because I, I am a supporter of your son, and I know many of them, and not one would ever, ever, it has nothing but respect for you. And we're hoping in our heart that the situation with you and your son is resolved between you both as men. But from the front line, guys, I know that's rolling and supporting Dr. Umar. You are held in the highest esteem as his father. The views you two have to work out are just that. Your views you will work out. We will never step between you two men. We will humbly wait for you two to resolve your differences. But for you to ever fear 
any of the true supporters. I know of your sons, never. As a matter of fact, I speak for New York. If you're ever visiting here, we'll provide security for you if you don't feel comfortable in any place through Harlem. Let us know. So I was very disturbed to, 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 to hear that that was an experiencing people that are identifying themselves as your son's supporters were, were, were putting you through. As I said, I don't believe none of them are. Be ever mindful that, that uh, agent provocateurs use those very same tactics to stoke division and to keep us from doing what we're trying to do now, communicate. Should be less on camera and more on the phone. You know, meet with your son. Dr. Umar, you got a great father. You wouldn't be as great as you are. I, I, I see him in you. I can't see one of y'all without the other. You're both great. Come together, brothers, and talk. You know, we, we, we got to bring this together. The time is critical. All right, Brother Smalls, in, uh, in this climate, how hard is it, you know, for these leaders or these guys who, who take command and decide to do something, you know, because... You know, even myself, you know, doing this, uh, you could imagine, you know, dealing with other people, dealing with other personalities, people within the community who probably don't like each other and things like that. Uh, how do the, uh, anybody who's coming up or people who's already in these positions, how do they continue to maneuver knowing that it's so much COINTELPRO, knowing that it's so much, you know, and it seems like, honestly, what it always seems like, even going back to like guys like Brother Polite, it always seems like, their biggest antagonizers are so-called the people. That's you know what I'm saying. The people that they're so-called trying to help, or the people. You know what I mean. So how do we get around that? You know what I'm saying. Wow, that's that is. This is the climate that that uh that exists. You know, back to what we were saying earlier. It's it's if we don't if we don't get get a code back. There's no way around it. You know, because if we stay with this anything goes environment. Mm -hmm. I mean, what comes from it? Anything goes. You can't even build structure, order. There ain't no order. You know, you know, you're cool today. You chop my head off tomorrow. You know, it's no. It's got to be. It's got to be more it's consistency. Honor, you know, you know, yes, and matter. you know, and, and let's start talking more to each. You don't got to communicate through yeah. uploads. We got each other's numbers, man. You know, you got an issue with a brother. Go, brother, you know, we got to talk. You, you got, yeah, tomorrow where? You know what? Let, let's, get, let's have a bite at that spot. You, yeah, okay. Sit with your brother. You know, you can even yell and scream at your brother. But do it with a way where you all cleanse yourself and say, okay, I understand. Now I know how, how we're going to move forward. Um, and just to elaborate what uh, Kevin said about, like, you know, the councils of elders or some or even if there ain't no council of elders what's up with the people who's running or who are the main how do you guys get a chance to sit together and at least even if it's like okay you know you don't have to tell me how to do what i gotta do but at least we come together at least once a month or somewhere we could discuss policy or things or how to move or something because right now anybody can go create a youtube channel and talk about whatever they want to talk about and pick up a following they don't have to have speak to dr uh brother smalls or sonetta or knowledge or anybody they could just go and do their thing right. you know what i'm saying but how do you create because i feel like without that Without having a structure, there is it that it leaves for that. It leaves for anything. At least if there was five guys that were strong on what they did, and they could even if there are new people, at least you know these are the guys, the gatekeepers and the things. Where are the gatekeepers? Where are the ones who's able to, you know, yeah, do that? Yeah. I, you know, <laughs> yeah. At the, I don't think we have an official. I, it's it's unfortunate, but it becomes in individual. It's, and see, you know, back to Manet's, uh, uh Freud's nephew that popularized the whole public relation propaganda deal. It's it's they they taught people they make more sales when they have people appeal to as individuals. Mm -hmm. So so much of those decades that march after it's how do you feel? How do you think? What you want to dress? What you want to wear? What you will drink? Everything is about what would make you feel better. Mm -hmm. And we lost sight of 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 what the collective is. And, and I think that was a, a a breakdown that we we haven't fully recovered from but since it's that way i seek out elders man i seek out elders man that gray hair that's that's like that's 
four PhDs for me. Because you've been here, man. You've been, I got it here because you got decades of firsthand. So I think it's the appreciation of the elders is just lost. And, 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 and that's a critical breakdown because they got the wealth of knowledge. And if they've lived right, resources. So you got knowledge and resources, and we're disconnected from, from that group. So, so you know. I agree because you know what, there are young brothers out there that are, like even me working with you, you know what I'm saying, and you like you helped me to continue to push my platform just because a few things I may have needed and you were able to help me in that situation. How do we get that? Because that is very important. Like you said, some of the, like it seems like the, either the elders are like, I ain't messing with, I ain't effing with these little young dudes. And the young dudes like, F the elders. They, they left us here to starve on our own. So we doing what we doing. How do we get them back to that point? You know what I'm saying? Because I was like, I, being raised in a Haitian family and things like that, we get raised with that type of structure. Respect your elders. If my grandma fart, I got to apologize to her. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's the mentality. But now, even living in America, kids are cursing their grandmothers out. You know what I'm saying? And I see that. So, like, how do we bring that back? Where do... Is it on the elders to reach out to these young dudes to find ways? Like, you know what I'm saying? To cause, Or are they cool? Like, oh, we did what we did. We got to where we got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's... it's you know, how do you solve that? Especially now, there's some awesome literature that's that's coming out. If you if you believe some scholars and, and some philosophers, this is the decline of empire. You know, that's one of the moral codes that goes right out the window. You know, the respect for the elders, you know, the whole gender thing that they're flipping and switching yeah, and it's it, those are the things. You, you know, go to all of the great civilizations throughout time. They have like seven key characteristics of a decline of an empire. Mm -hmm. So, And when an empire is in decline, I mean, it may not be in free fall, but it's coming down so rapidly that can something like that be regained? Mm -hmm. And whoever does regain it, they're going to have they're going to have the most powerful base. Because again, the elders has the wisdom and the resources. So, I mean, we need, that's what we got to be coming together now. We got to be coming together. You know, the clock is this. It, 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 we're, we're ready in overtime. Mm -hmm. It's like if we don't get it on this on this run, no genocide is real. I mean, this land that America, mm -hmm. this is all. I mean, it's natives. There's a whole different people that was here mm -hmm. when they first encountered Europeans and the thirteen colonies and so on and so forth. And we just had Thanksgiving. For thanks for what? Uh, now. Uh, right now, exactly. Don't even have to go back in time. So. So it's, 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 so if you don't move and have your collective and have your people and your people's nation strong, you cannot be here or be reduced to such a weakened state. You know, then what? They're going to have a reservation for black people, you know, next, next to the Indians reservation. I'm not speaking disrespectfully, you know, of, of, of those people. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they fought vigilantly. They did. They are Indian they are wars. Indian yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. But they fought, but they, you know, defeat after defeat. And, you know, one of their main points, turning them against each other, turning tribes against each other. And some of the holdouts, some of the holdouts, you know, some of the Indians that wasn't going for that went up in the mountains mm -hmm. and came down every so often, did a raid, got the supplies, went back up in the mountains. The only way they was able to track them, they got other, because they had, it was so part of nature. Mm -hmm. Only someone with the knowledge of where and how they would be, that's the only way they was able to go up into those mountains and into those hills and finally get those last diehards. Mm -hmm. There are some folks that, I'm, I'm going to live free or die. And okay, the country might have gave up, but no, liberty, that's all I got. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do what I got to do as a free man. If it has to be in a mountain, on a hill, I'm going to be free there. Mm -hmm. Then walking around here driving nice, but can get gunned down at any minute. Mm -hmm. Or be disrespected in any store, being followed around, can't get a cab. But, you know, you're so free with the degrees and all the other accomplishments. Sometimes we, we, we delude ourselves mm -hmm. in what freedom actually is, how it feels. And then we think just having expensive toys or uh, many things to, I guess, medicate that pain. Because it has to be a pain if you don't feel good in the society you're in. Mm -hmm. If you're always accosted in your society, how can you feel comfortable in it? And if you don't feel comfortable, you'll have different things you'll do to ease that discomfort. And that eases us into cognitive dissonance. That's all that is. Mm -hmm. 
When truth comes, you can't even take it because it has you have to disrupt all the other fairy tale you've built. So you will reject anything that goes against what you hold as your truth. And that's, and that's a scary place to be in. I think a lot of us as black people dwell in that space. Now, I got a question, right? Um, how much is what's happening to all of us the result of a accumulation of what America is itself? You know what I'm saying? Like when it comes to like Obama passing the rules for homosexuals to be able to get married and all of these new things happening. And how much does that really affect us on the ground level when they pass certain laws and now you see us like you said it's like the 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 decline of society you see Sodom and Gomorrah and all of these things and now legally you wrong if you do what's wrong or if you accuse what's wrong or you know what I'm saying if I stand against something that is really wrong it doesn't matter but now we can legally make it right like tomorrow if they say legally pedophilia is legal and Herman Smalls, you want to say something about it? Uh, 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 we put you in jail. So how much of that is the reason why we, even black people, white, it doesn't matter. Like, because we're all affected within what's happening. How does that create to the mentality of where we're all at now? Where we're a lawless society where we don't give a F. We talk about people's families or whatever. We just losing all types of integrity. You know what I'm saying? How much does that show where we're at here in America? How much that affects us on every day? Whether you, even if you are a conscious, positive brother, you still got your little things here and there. I gotta go get my McDonald's and my little chips, and you know what I mean. Even if you're not thinking about it on that level, but it's still affecting you. I gotta walk down the block and see two dudes holding hands, kissing, and with my kid holding my kid like and this has to be a natural thing for me now how much does that affect in us you know what i'm saying just being here in the country yeah. oh, oh, of course our, our exist i mean what language are we speaking right now you know what kind of clothing do we wear yeah, i mean so, you know